Philippines, President Rodrigo Roa Duterte. Magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. Magandang gabi kay Mayor. Uh, ang una pong magtatanong ngayong gabi via Google Meet ay si Joseph Morong ng GMA7. Ah, uh, Joseph. Hi, sir. How are you doing? Oh, yes, sir. Kamusta po kayo, sir, nasa TV? How are you doing, sir? Nice to see you again, although virtually. Sir, first question. Um, just so galing po sa inyo, uh, for the record, sir, nabakunahan na po ba kayo? Can you lower the volume para ah, reverberate eh. yeah. okay. Again, can you... Sir? Okay, sir. Ulitin ka lang, sir. Wala. Sir, para po sa inyo na manggaling, um, sir, nabakunahan na po ba kayo? At kung hindi pa po, sir, would you confirm na ang gusto po ninyong bakuna ay Sinopharm? At kung Sinopharm po yung gusto nila, bakit po hindi Sinovac? Yeah, alam mo... Have you talk to the medical uh, people? Kami yung mga 70, we have to be careful. Ako naman may doktor ako sarili. She hmm. thinks that uh, another brand, I will not mention it. Uh, yun na lang ang hinintay ko. Sabi niya, hinintay niya. Hinintay ko. Sabi ko. But I cannot hmm. just... Uh, uh, out of the box uh, vaccine simply because I have to take care of my age. I will be 77 next year. Next month. Eh, yung 70 nga, pinagsasabi na, baka hindi ako abot. Hindi. 67 lang ako. Sinasabi ko lang yan para Kasi mga bata pa sila eh. Mm-hmm. Sir, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. um, kasi sir, ang nasabi po sa... Ano, walang, alam mo, in the matter of getting the vaccine, it is to my advantage. It is to my self-interest that I should get one. No doubt about it. As to what brand, yan ang problema because it is left to the sound discretion of my doctor. May caveat pa yan. Seventy people above are, you know, nasabi nila, wag na. In some areas, some countries, hindi na binabakunahan yung seventy. It's either because they are nearing death or about to die, or it would be useless to give them the vaccine because anyway, they won't live long. I really do not know the rational or rationally of the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Sir, Pero, just one last question. Sir, um, I'd like you to address po yung mga healthcare workers natin because po, um, kung yung survey po ng PGH ang pagbabasehan natin, uh, 8% lang po ng mga empleyado sa PGH ang gusto pong magpabakuna noong Sinovac. Tapos po yung uh, kung mga Pilipino ang titingnan sir, survey says uh, 13% lang po yung may gusto ng Chinese vaccine. So address sir yung parang distrust ng mga Pilipino sa Chinese vaccines and would you be willing to be vaccinated in public to shore up yung uh, public confidence sa pagbabakuna. And just one last point, sir, si Vice President Lenny uh, saying that you should be the first to be vaccinated um, to shore up the public um, uh, confidence in the vaccine. So yung survey, sir, na mababa yung may gusto ng Chinese, and then yung kay Vice President. Thank you, sir. Siya may yung apurado, siya ang mauna. Ako, I, I, I cannot just decide. She's young. I am not. I have to defer to my doctor. But I said, mm -hmm. on the matter of getting the vaccine, it is my self-preservation will be at issue. Kailangan ko mm -hmm. magpabakuna. Ano bang problema nila sa bakuna na talaga magpabakuna man ako? 
if I do not want to die and get COVID, I, I should get one. I go around a lot. I meet so many people on any given trip outside. Eh, bakit nadramahin pa yan? Sino mauna? Sino? Ako magpabakuna. Ang problema, ang doktor ko may hinihintay. Now, on the issue mm. of itong mga health workers, merong dadating. They have a choice. It's either Seneca or uh, 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 Seneca, sir? Astra... AstraZeneca, sir. Ah, AstraZeneca, yan. Ay, AstraZeneca o di Sinovac. Kung ayaw nila ng Sinovac, maghintay sila uh, in a few days. There has been quite a... Uh, basta I was assured that it would be coming within the next few days. Di yun ang gusto right. nila. Di, they have a choice. Uh, that's about... Uh, Another, uh, I don't know uh, how many. Uh, 500,000, sir? I don't know, but I'm sure that I cannot really tell you the exact number. Just that this is coming to the World Health Organization, the Sinovac. This is the in a portion of WHO among the countries that cannot afford to buy it immediately kasi mm -hmm. agawan now kung magsabi kayo bakit ngayon lang eh mabautit na nga na, nag donate ang nagmagandang loob ng China this uh, what you see now are donated vaccines tayo may pera kasi naghiram tayo sa World Bank pati sa DBP. Sabi naman dalawang ehensya, okay, pahiramin kayo. Walang problema. Problem is, agawan ngayon ng bakuna. Until there is a, a residual supply, We will just have to wait. Yung magbili tayo. Eh, sige, reklamo. Sinabi ko na ang rason, walang supply. Ginusto ko man magnakaw, ginusto ko man magbili, eh, wala eh. Kaya na itong una dumating, AstraZeneca would be coming. Now, for those who do not want to be vaccinated, okay lang sa akin. Wala akong problema. Ayaw ninyo magpabakuna? Okay. That's your choice. Uh, okay. Maraming salamat. Kaya, okay, sir, ng, thank you for your time. Yes, sir. Thank you very much for your time, sir. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, susunod kong magtatanong, Mr. President. Eh, kailangan ka mag mas I cannot... I simply cannot para akong inutil na magsalita na ano. I have to remove it. Am um, I'm asking for an exemption? No. But if you want me to do my duty to talk to the public, to answer the questions from the press, talagang tinatanggal ko kasi I, I just feel bothered by all of the things hanging in front of me. Okay, sir. Thank okay. you for your time, sir. Nice okay. meeting you again, sir. Ang susunod pong magtatanong ay si Ms. Pia Gutierrez ng ABS-CBN. Hi, sir. Magandang uh, gabi po. Sir, with the start of the vaccine rollout, sir, could you please tell us what kind of scenario that the Philippines will expect in the next few days or in the next few weeks? More importantly, sir, when do we expect uh, the Philippines to achieve herd immunity and when do we expect to get our lives back to normal? Uh, kailan daw po ang in-expect natin na magkaroon tayo ng herd immunity at kailan daw in-expect po natin na babalik po tayo sa normal? Herd, herd immunity is a science. Ang herd immunity is kung ang Maynila, around Maynila, nabakunahan na, 
most of the people in the nearby peripheral uh, provinces. Wala na lahat nakabakuna. So nobody can get contaminated by, by, by what? By whom? That is the time that we can have the herd immunity. It is science. Uh, it, uh, only the medical people can give you the exact calculation on that. As a layman, herd immunity is uh, achieved only kung yung nakapalibot sa iyo, nabakunahan na. So there is no more chance for you to acquire the disease because wala nang magcontaminate sa iyo. So sir, with the arrival of the vaccine, sir, when do we expect to achieve this herd immunity, sir? Look, ganito ha. Mahirap kasi yan, ma'am. Because ang herd immunity, uh, para sa akin, personally, mas maganda kung contiguous ang territory. Because you only have to do a circle, paliit ng paliit, paliit ng paliit, hanggang towards the center of gravity. Ito island for island eh. And we cannot stop travel. And we cannot expect all people to agree to be vaccinated. That is the problem. Pero kaya nga, we have to take into account the freedom of an individual of what happens to his body. Nobody but nobody can tinker with his uh, the human life. Kung hindi siya, kung ayaw niya, that makes it doubly hard for us. But that is also one which have to take, which, which we have to take into account in dealing with the problem of COVID-19. Sir, as far as our targets are concerned, do you see this happening within the year or next year or in the next two or three years? Herd immunity, akin lang yan, sa basa-basa ko lang. Ula -ula akong, I have no reference except that uh, I cannot recall now how many articles I've read about uh, herd immunity. Ang Pilipinas, uh, towards the end of uh, mga early next year pa. Early next year. Early next year. If you ask a doctor, he would give you the same answer. Maybe. Maybe not. I'm wrong. Pero sabi ko, yun lang, gina, yun lang nabasa ko. Uh, but I've read from international uh, magazine. Wala talaga akong, uh, I must confess my incomplete and inadequate uh, knowledge dito sa bagay na ito. Um, on another, uh, and a similar matter, sir, now that we have started the rollout of vaccines, would you reconsider the IATF recommendation to place the Philippines under MGCQ? The I Will you reconsider pa, daw po yung placing Metro Manila under MGCQ now that we have rolled out the vaccination program? I am considering it, actually. I'll start buksan ko na because there are two things that are really bugging us. It's the economy and COVID-19. Nakatutok yan. Our economy is really down, as in down. So, the earlier na mabilisan itong vaccine, the better. Uh, ako, pag nag-umpisa na yan, roll out, and the other uh, vaccines would come in and distribute it to the provinces, I may, pag, siguro pagdating ng mga, we'll have a million by, this month. Magkaroon na tayo ng stock ng 2 million, bitawan ko na. I will open the economy. Talagang hirap tayo. You know, people have to eat. People have to work. People have to pay. 
for their upkeep. And the only way to do it is to open the economy and for businesses to regrow. Without that, patay talaga. So, mahirapan tayo. Sir, when you say reopen the economy, that means placing Metro Manila under MGCQ in March? As a matter of fact, kung kita ko na marami ng vaccine, open ko na lahat, tanggalin ko na yan. Kung mayroon ng, if the vaccine is available to anybody, for one reason or another, sa mga probinsya na distribute na yan, kasi hindi naman mag-abot ng 110 million. Eh, sa estimate nila, it's about 40 million. Kung makahit tayo ng 40 million, o nandyan na yung box yan, baski mag, uh, meron tayong mga 20, 30, buksan ko na. Buksan ko na dahil sa economy. Sir, what about face-to-face -face classes po? The what? Face-to-face -face classes. Wag mo na. Not now. It would be, I cannot uh, make that decision. It will place the children in jeopardy. Alam mo, iba na yung decision, iba na yung maraming mamatay. I am not ready to lose the lives of our young people, our children. Think, think na, as they come, pag tingnan ko nakabakuna araw-araw, what's the use? Yung mga ayaw, yung gusto pa ng ibang klaseng, there's the AstraZeneca. If you do not have faith in uh, the Chinese, uh, ako mismo, I guarantee to you, basa, yung 50 per, nobody but nobody can really tell you how effective it is or the efficacy is at that number. It would depend on your body. If you are a healthy person with no underlying causes of di diseases, talagang kailangan mo ng mas marami. Mahina ang katawan mo. Pero pag mag bigay mo yan kagaya sa inyo, yung mga babae, nagkaya ng katindig dyan, oh wala, that's 100, almost 90. Walang unang makasabi niya ng ano, there's no scientific data of comparison there. Wala pa. The fact that uh, Malaysia, Indonesia, Brazil, Africa, uh, UAA, I think, okay, um, the outcome has been quite successful. Sa China, wala na. Ginabit nila Sinovac, Sinopharm. Okay na sila. As a matter of fact, President Xi Jinping announced, basa ko lang, that uh, China has overcome poverty. Wala nang pobre sa China ngayon. Okay. Okay, ang susunod po magtatanong ay si Ms. Trisha Terada ng CNN Philippines. Hi, good evening, Mr. President. Good to see you po. Sir, first question, how do you intend to address Filipinos who are still apprehensive to get vaccinated, more so with um, Chinese brands, for example, Sinovac? Uh, a guarantee. I am giving the guarantee that it is effective, that efficacy is good. Ngayon, yung ayaw magpabakuna, wala akong magawa para sa inyo. Mm -hmm. Or you might want, at least you know, in your lifetime, may, may kilala kang doktor. Magtanong ka na lang sa doktor kung anong mag, mag, mabuti sa iyo. Kagaya namin, 70 above are discouraged from getting it. Pero ako, since I, I, I get to go around and meet people to travel, baka kailangan ko. You ask the, yung guideline ng WHO, yung 70 above, wala na. Patay na yan. 
Eh, ako mag 32 na next month. Mm -hmm. Sir, experts are saying na mas mahihikayat po yung publiko na magpabakuna when they see leaders or influencers getting vaccinated. Sino po yung uh, mga inatasan niyo, sir, na maunang magpabakuna, especially with the arrival of Sinovac? May naatasan po ba kayong mga um, cabinet members or officials my, in your government? My doctor has in mind. It's a Chinese brand still. Pero hindi ito. Siya yung nakaalam ng konstitusyon ng katawan ko eh. Yes. Pero sir, may officials po ba kayo or cabinet members na aatasan na manguna po sa pagpapabakuna to represent the government? Magsabay-sabay kami pagdating. Yung, hinihintay lang natin yung ano. Mm -hmm. okay. sir, ako, ito... ako naghingi ako. Mm -hmm. Personal. Mm -hmm. Wala silang stock na ano. Naghingi ako para sa pamilya ko pati sa akin. Pati yung, I don't know if uh, we would have enough vaccines for everybody. But I think uh, I can accommodate the tong mm -hmm. cabinet member. Mm -hmm. Sir, I understand and you mentioned um, several times that you are grateful to the donations of China. It pong Sinovac, yung una po nilang pinadalang bakuna. But sir, um, how do you wish to address concerns about, uh, or fear, sir, about the objective of vaccine diplomacy led by China? And concerns, sir, on um, our possible position um, on different issues with China? Some Again, uh, ano daw po yung, uh, um, tama ba ang tanong mo, no? ano yung maging epekto sa iba pang mga issues na meron po tayo sa China mm -hmm. dito sa pagdating po, uh, pagdating po ng, po ng uh, Sinovac vaccine? Well, uh, that's uh, a matter of geopolitics. I have uh, made a declaration that we will adopt an independent foreign policy, mm -hmm. which means to say that, one, I assured China that I will not allow nuclear armaments of America to be stored in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. Yan ang sinabi ko. That's the guarantee that I have. Na hindi ako papayag. Not because it will antagonize China but it is in the Philippine Constitution which prohibits the presence of nuclear armaments in the country. Mm -hmm. So sir, just to put it on the record and to be very clear about it, despite or amid this um, donations, we will not compromise anything on issues um, between China. China never asked for anything. China has been giving us everything, mm -hmm. but never ask anything from us, mm -hmm. actually. Ang pinakamabigat ang Amerikano, ang hinihingi nila, ang base. Eh, alam mo ba kung anong mangyari? Do you know the direct consequence? Mm -hmm. Kung magkagera, and it will surely start, mm -hmm. maybe in the theater, of war would be this Pratley and China thing. Katabi lang tayo, Pangasinan, it's just a uh, harap. Maraming probinsya na niyan. Mm -hmm. Alam mo kung may armament sila dito, ang unang tatamaan yun. Saan? Sa Pilipinas. We are taking a very big gamble there. Kasi kung walang armament sa Pilipinas, yun lang kailangan natin sa counter-insurgency. Okay na, we do not need weapons that could fight other countries because we do not have it, the arms, and we do not want it. Ang unang matamaan, ang Pilipinas. Kasi nandito yung base, nandito yung mga armas nila. The arms are stored everywhere in the Philippines. Baka hindi ninyo alam. May mga depots all around the Philippines where the arms are. Sinabi ko sa kanila, 
I cannot stop you because we have yet to renegotiate the visiting for this agreement. But I'm warning you that if I get hold of a hard information that the nuclear armaments are here brought by you, I will immediately ask you to go out and I will terminate the visiting for this agreement. Ora mismo. Mm -hmm. Sir, maybe one last question. Um, um, not related to vaccines. Since sir, matagal-tagal din po namin hindi kayo hindi nakausap. Sir, there are growing calls uh, for your daughter, Davao City Mayor in Daisara, to run for president. Nabanggit niyo po na ayaw niyo po siyang patakbuhin. But is this final, sir? Or is this still up for reconsideration? Uh, considering na marami pong gustong tumakbo yung anak po ninyo. <laughs> Um, pinal na baho yung advice nyo raw po na ayaw nyong patakbuhin si Inday Sara or pwede pa itong mariconsider sa dami po ng calls para tumakbo po si Inday Sara. Si, si, uh, si Sara ayaw because may anak kasi yung tatlo. Maliliit pa eh. Maliliit pa eh. Gusto niya na uh, mag-focus muna siya sa family ano ng uh, affairs. But sabi niya sa akin, marami pa naman panahon and she used my favorite uh, statement. Sabi niya, kung gusto ng Diyos maging presidente rin ako, kagaya sa iyo, maging presidente ako. Hindi kailangan ngayon. She wants me, but if she does not want, if God does not want to be, me to be president, I will not have that chance in no more. Ganon rin. Alam mo, it's, the presidency is a gift from God. Wala ka mo ano dyan. Ayaw niya ngayon. At sabi niya, kung ma-presidente siya, just assuming, assuming, after six years, bata pa siya, anong gawin niya? As an ex-president, hindi siya makatrabaho, hindi siya maka-appear ng korte, eh, presidente ko na. At sabi ko, mabuti sana kung maganda yung sweldo, makapag-ipon ka. Pero wala ka naman ng ambisyon, dyan ka lang, trabaho, wala kang nothing to Thank you, Absolutely. Sir. Salamat po, sir. Ang susunod po magtatanong, si Mela Lesmoras ng PTV4. Hi, good evening po, sir. Ngayong may bakuna na, sir, sa Pilipinas at nalalapit na rin ang anniversary ng community quarantine sa bansa, paano nyo po i-assess o bibigyan ng grade ang ating government sa pagtugon sa COVID-19 pandemic? Paano? I-assess. Yung pagtugo ng gobyerno sa COVID-19 pandemic ng IATF at ating national government po. Paano daw po ang pag-assess sa response natin sa pandemic ngayong dumating na po ang mga bakuna? Ano ang... Ano, paano po natin Pag... a-assess yung ating uh, response sa COVID-19 ngayong nandito na po ang bakuna? Oh, well, uh, it would be... We, we, we must apply it as... as... Eh, kung maubos ng isang araw yan, ituro ko yan mo isang araw. As fast as we can. But look, uh, the Philippines is not Manila alone. Remember that. So may mga syudad, Lawag, Cebu, Davao, Bagayan, Dumaguete, Bacolod. Bigyan mo rin yan eh. Hindi, basta-basta na ibigay mo lang lahat dito sa Maynila yan. It would not be fair. Yung lalo na kung may, mar may mga gusto, eh, ibigay mo. Pero ratio and proportion. Mas maraming tao dito sa Metro Manila yan kaysa mga probinsya. Pero in the meantime, na wala pa tayong sufficient supply for everybody, Ano yung damating ngayon at next week 
paghati-ati natin niya na ratio and proportion. Para naman sabihin ng the rest of the Philippines, aba, nakakalimutan tayo. Tell uh, Duterte that uh, there are Filipinos over here. So many hundreds of miles away. Sir, kung may nakikita po kayo, uh, Mr. President, na dapat pang i-improve, saan po yun? Ano po yung ng grade? Yung IATF, mga LGU? Ano po yung ibibigay niyong grade sa COVID-19 response ng ating mga opisyal po? It's either my ear is failing me, which actually is uh, mahina ang dito ko kasi na I, had, uh, I have a fractured at the back. It's it. It's, uh, may may prut, nagpuputo dito. Wala, wala na ako dito. So, I have to... Ito yung... Uh, ear. Uh, Mr. President, kung bibigyan po natin ng grade or grado yung ating IATF, yung mga LGU, sa COVID-19 response ng government, paano po natin sila i-assess? At ano po yung mga nakikita pa natin pwedeng improvement ng government against COVID-19? Well, that is... You know... Yung Department of Health is not a department alone. It is a structure all over the Philippines. So it behooves upon the municipal health officer, the city health officer, the provincial health officer. Lahat sila must keep a record that is mandatory so that visitations can be made especially those who are of age and vulnerable sa yung mahina ng katawan. I really do not know why they wanted to or why they you know, just exclude the mga 70 above wag na. Pero ito yung mga vulnerable sa may underlying cause. There is a Anemia, maybe leukemia. Ito yung uh, bukang ayaw na atang injection. E kung ganun, gusto, ayaw mo mong injection, gusto mo mamatay na lang. Sir, may last question po. Ngayong may bakuna na, kailan po natin nakikitang babalik sa normal ang Pilipinas? Uh, in about maybe early... Mga year 2-3, year not the 2-2. Two, two. Ito ngayon hanggang tatapusan ng buwan, paspasan tayo. Uh, uh, early, the first, maybe first or second quarter of uh, year 2023. Baka. Thank you po, Mr. President. Tulong ng Diyos. Okay. Ang huling magtatanong po ay isang uh, uh, reporter ng Chinese TV, CCTV, si Ms. Wang Zhengzheng or si Yellow. Magandang gabi, President. Nice to see you again. Uh, my first question is that today the arrival of first batch of Chinese vaccine shows the Chinese government to fulfill his commitment. So what's your comment on this? Do you think that this vaccine can help the Philippines to recovery of the economy and to bring our Filipino people's life back to normal. Yes. Uh, the vaccine that you, uh, China, donated could greatly help in the recovery of the economy. And it starts now, not really now, but maybe tomorrow, once we uh, begin the rollout. And... Uh, Slowly, those persons who got the vaccines can go to work again and businesses will open. The, the reason why the businesses are closed is because there are no workers. Everybody is afraid to go out because uh, of the absence of the vaccine. But with the help of uh, uh, China, and uh, please uh, convey my gratitude to the Chinese government and people. It will greatly help. 
and thereby promote uh, a healthy trade and commerce with uh, China. Okay, uh, President, I, I would also like to know, uh, during your remarks, you mentioned that the vaccine should be made as the global public goods. That's also the commitment of Chinese President Xi Jinping. And China has uh, already donated the vaccine to more than 50 countries worldwide. What's your comment on this issue? I have to translate it. Oh, um, please repeat the question. I couldn't understand also the question. Uh, Slowly. Uh, okay. Uh, during uh, President's remarks this afternoon, he mentioned that uh, uh, the vaccine needs to be made as uh, global public goods. That's also the commitment of Chinese President Xi Jinping. Ch Chinese government right now already donated the vaccine to more than 50 countries. So I would like to know the comments from the President. Comments daw po ninyo dun sa sinabi ni President Xi na gusto niyang ibigay sa maraming mga lokal na mga iba pang mga bansa itong uh, bakuna na galing sa China. Komento lang po dun sa sinasabi nilang they want to distribute the vaccine to as many uh, other countries. China is a, has a good spirit. The people are kind and the government is very uh, not only just uh, a, 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 a great uh, respect and love for mankind. Now, uh, this will help along... Uh, ano yung tanong na? Ano pa yung comment nyo lang dun sa sinabi daw po ni President Xi na they want to uh, share the vaccine to as many countries? Well, let me uh, announce it again. China has donated vaccines everywhere for those countries who need help and do not have the money ready for the poor countries. China donated, but uh, the protocol was you have to get the vaccine in China using your own transportation and bring it back, the medicine to China. The Philippines, as of now, is the only country where China delivered using a military plane the vaccines to the Philippines. That is how good China is to us. Thank you, Mr. President. And also, the last question, I would oh. like to know, during your remarks, you said you would like to visit China soon and to uh, see, take the message to President uh, Xi Jinping personally. So I would like to know which city you would like to visit this time and what kind of message you will bring to President Xi. Maybe I'll go to Xiamen. Uh, there, 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 there's a school built to honor my mother. You know, my mother was one of the first educators of the Chinese school in Davao. Uh, I said, uh, when you are, uh, you know, uh, you have Chinese blood, uh, you are uh, the wife, you get, uh, in 1950, we migrated to Davao and uh, my mother was able to get a job immediately. She was taken in by the Davao Chinese School. She was one of the earliest educators. So in China, they have uh, built a or a building the name after my mother. So I'd like to go to Xiamen before to going to Beijing. Uh, but what is important is that I get to, I told the ambassador, I'd like to thank uh, 
and to travel to China even one day. Just uh, to tell President Xi Jinping, thank you. And I fly home. I, I want it to do personal because China has been good. And the, it, the, the way they're helping us right now, uh, I, I, I suppose that uh, uh, a debt of gratitude uh, should be paid by a personal visit. Okay. Thank you so Maraming much, salamat. Maraming salamat, Mayor. Dito po nagtatapos ang ating press conference. Maraming salamat po sa mga kasama natin sa Malacanang Press Corps. Ay, At salamat. sa lahat po ng uh, sumabaybay. Magandang uh, gabi po sa inyong lahat. Dito po nagtatapos ang makasaysayang uh, araw na ito kung kailan dumating ang unang kauna-unang mga bakuna laban sa COVID-19. Dito po nagsisimula yung pagdating na liwanag sa panahon ng kadiliman. Magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat at maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. Salamat. Madilim na kahapon Ikaw ang mag-aahon Sa piling mo Di ko mawawala ang korupsyon Tayo na Pilipinas Tayo na Hawak kamay tayo Para sa pagkasenso Ikaw at ako Tayong lahat kay Rodrigo Duterte Para sa tunay na pagkasenso Babago Mas dano ang paligid Talamak mga krimen Rape, droga at mga nakawan Dapat na Mapigilan Tayo na Pilipinas Tayo na Magbago Hawat kamay tayo Para sa Pagkasenso Ikaw at ako, tayong lahat kay Rodrigo. Duterte, para sa tunay na pagbabago. Why am I here? I am here because I love my country and I love the people of the Philippines. Ikaw at ako, tayong lahat kay Rodrigo. Duterte para sa tunay na pagbabago.